our crew had worked on a job in Adel, and we had completed the job, and on the way back to our headquarters, uh, we had to uh, pass through Lenox, and we had put in a mobile unit at the Lenox substation a week earlier. And as we pulled in a vacant lot across the street from the convenience store by the substation, uh, Wesley noticed a commotion in the parking lot. I, the, what initially caught my attention was a backfire. I looked over there and I saw a flame coming out from under the hood of the truck. So I told Dennis, I said, look, we got a truck on fire. I immediately told Wesley, grab the fire extinguisher. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over there and get them back from the flames. By this time, the girl had jumped out, ran around to the hood and she had her shirt fanning the fire, trying to put it out. Of course, it was flaming up. When it ignited, it ignited on the, uh, the fellow that was pouring gas in the carburetor on his arm and singed his hair. By the time I got there and got him back, West was right there spot on and, and uh, extinguished the fire. You know, I guess uh, through the years of sitting in our safety meetings and, you know, absorbing what, what goes on, that just, it makes it second nature to you to, you know, to react or respond to something like that. Makes you feel glad that you were able to help when somebody needed it. Once you were there, you could take all your training and just use it to help prevent something bad from happening. No, I don't consider myself a hero. I think uh, what I've done or what Wesley done is what pretty much anyone would do in, the, in this situation. Uh, we were fortunate that we were in a company truck and had a fire extinguisher available to go over there and, and uh, stop something before it turned into something really tragic. So no, uh, what we done was pretty much just acting on instinct and training. I feel like in that situation, I just done what I would want anybody to do for me if I was in need. Not a hero, but just a, Average Joe, I reckon.